we were discussing the initial moisture content versus critical moisture content now what is critical moisture content now what is critical moisture content now critical moisture content is the average material moisture content at which the drying rate begins to decline so as we all know all know that the declining rate of water or drying rate is lower in the initial stage or in the constant rate period and it is high in the falling rate period so if the initial moisture content is lower than the rate at which moisture content is decreasing then it is falling rate period and if the initial moisture content is higher than the rate at which moisture content is decreasing then it is constant rate drying period now factors affecting the drying rate external factors are the dry bulb temperature that is the hot air temperature and then the relative humidity that is the moisture content present in the air then air velocity then surface heat transfer coefficient then surface to volume ratio because the thickness matters if thickness is higher then the reach of heat to the central point of the slab will take time then the surface temperature then the rate of moisture loss then the composition that is the present of solutes if higher solutes are present lower the drying rate as well as if uh, there is surface temperature is higher than needed then surface will become patchy and then the most of the surface will be unavailable for the water vapor transfer from within the food to the outside system now moving towards effects of drying on food first effect is shrinkage actually effects are the defects so the shrinkage is the defect because such material on rehydration absorbs water more slowly so shrinkage means the permanent damage to the rigid cells and they are so when the rigid cells structure is damaged they are no longer available for rehydration then this can be by, for this can be because of gelatinization of starch denaturation of proteins and crystallization of cellulose so these are the rehydration characteristics and important for rehydration then case hardening means the surface is surface makes the crust because of the higher rate of drying an inner material is soft so the extended shelf life will be lower because the inner soft material will be available for chemical reactions as well as the microbial reactions now browning browning can be because of residual enzymatic browning mallard's reaction can be there or caramelization can be there so these are the three defects of drying that is browning case hardening and the shrinkage now 
types of drying uh, hot air drying can be done the, these are the uh, specifications like uh, spray drying needs the pre concentrated food and hot air drying needs needs the higher moisture content food so these are the specification how the drying can be done then microwave drying then freeze drying then osmotic drying what is osmotic drying in osmotic dehydration the removal of water process involves the soaking of food in hypertonic salt or sugar solution so it reduces the water content available for microbial as well as chemical activities so these increase the soluble solid content now we can understand the mechanism of osmotic dehydration by this schematic diagram this is the food material this is the concentrated solution hypertonic solution of salt sugar or the combination now the because of the concentration gradient this water is highly higher this concentrated solution hypertonic solution has higher concentration than the food material so the water will move to the lower uh, so, so sorry food material has the higher concentration than the salt and sugar water so water will move towards the lower concentration then solutes present in the salt solution or the sugar solution will start filling the space which is left vacated by the water that moved towards the solution the solutes will go into the system uh, in this process meanwhile some products own solutes which are dissolved in the water that are minerals sugars organic acids they can move into the solution so basically the concentration will be higher the solute concentration will be higher and it will bound the all available water and the water will not be available for the chemical as well as the microbial activity so we can uh, you can note down the mechanism of osmotic dehydration now now moving towards the manufacturing manufacturing effects manufacturing steps involved in drying of fruits and vegetables selection of raw material is the first because we need the commercially matured food which has intact texture not the soggy one ya op- over ripened fruit which ha- which can disintegrate easily by the effect of hot air so specification for every each and every variety of fruits and vegetable is different now the washing washing can be done by the water jet of water or through the conveyor belt or it may be cleaned in running the material into the stream of running water so uh, then remove the traces of pesticides coloring material mm, maybe uh, dilute acids can be used then sanitizers like chlorine based compounds are permitted f- to certain level for washing purpose this will uh, lowers the microbial load on the surface of the food product 
now moving to the third step that is peeling and trimming and sizing we know the terms peeling trimming and sizing trimming is uh, removing the unwanted parts of fruits and vegetable then pre treatments there are pre treatments first kind of pre treatment is checking that is the dipping in hot solution of alkali to remove wax layer which can be natural or the artificial one to improve the drying rate because wax will refrain the moisture to come out through the surface then blanching this uh, reduces the browning because this inactivates the enzymes like polyphenol peroxidases and so color can be logged by catalyzation of oxidation of phenolic substance so basically the peroxidase and catalase are inactivated in order to get the browning inactivation as well as enzyme inactivation so it also branch blanching improves the color and it also increases the drying rates as uh, it also expels dissolved oxygen and it also improves bacteriological quality of the finishing product then sulfating sulfating is done by sulfur dioxide or some sulfide combination like sodium meta sulfide or potassium meta bisulfide for the reduction of color the bleaching of color is done because the drying rate enhances the color or uh, gets the color the dark color so because in some fruits and vegetable dark color is not desirable so uh, sulfitation is used as a pre treatment before drying now the drying temperature drying is done whatever the method the spray drying or the hot air drying or any mechanical drying is there now moving towards the some common processes used for drying of fruits and vegetables like drying drying of some vegetables this is the drying of onion no it is used as seasoning item is it is used as seasoning item for some traditional indian cuisine and the for, and for culinary purpose worldwide so this is the process flow chart peeling slicing 5 mm thickness will be there then 5% salt solution for 30 minutes or warm water that is 70 degree centigrade for 1 minute with stirring into it at regular intervals then dipped in starch solution for 30 minutes at room temperature for, to give certain structure starch will give certain structure so that the drying is facilitated the surface area is is open to the hot air then cabinet dryer time temperature combination is 10 hours for 60 degree centigrade then mo final moisture content that is achieved is 4 to 4.5 percent then after that blending sieving with 30 mesh size then packaging and storage at low temperature then drying of cauliflower you can see the procedure a storage life of cauliflower is 2 to 4 weeks at 0 degree centigrade so it can be ex uh, it can be extended like this is the procedure standard procedure we know all the 
प्रोसीजर एंड ऑल द थिंग्स केमिकल्स यूज इन इट एंड वॉट इज द ऑब्जेक्टिव सो एंड लास्टली द ड्राइंग ऑफ फ्रूट्स विच इज जनरली ऑस्मोटिक ड्राइंग इज देयर एग्जाम्पल इज ड्राइंग ऑफ एप्पल then the दिस द साइज देन वॉशिंग पीलिंग एंड कोरिंग स्लाइसिंग एंड डाइसिंग देन सल्फरिंग देन डिहाइड्रेशन सो नाउ कूलिंग एंड ग्रेडिंग सो आई थिंक इट इज क्लियर द ड्राइंग ऑफ फ्रूट्स एंड वेजिटेबल द प्रिंसिपल the mechanism the method all three are clear if you have any query you can post it into the comment box of classroom app or you can ask me personally now prepare hand written notes based on this lecture